So, um, great job! I think I think you have some beautiful colors back there. Um, what what is there something? Is there a specific reason you chose those colors in the back? That those yellow, orange, that purple. Um, I just thought that this scene from Aladdin would look nice with the sunset behind it. Yeah, yeah. I I, I think it, it does look really nice, and I, I I and I see that you kind of um, created shadows of the kingdom in the back, right? I think I think that's I think that's cool. I think you're you're, um, you're playing with like lighting and stuff, and I think you're 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 pulling it back to a lot of what um what the the animated movie is, right? So you're you're bringing that backdrop of the kingdom and stuff, and I think that's cool. I think uh, I, I think this is your first time doing this, right? Yeah. You said? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I think you want to make sure that you have right right now. What, this this uh what, what they're on the carpet on here in the front is that what you envision in the front of the stage this this blue panel here yeah kind of do do they that moves in and out by any chance yes can you show us oh is it those that you can actually like move back and forth like this oh no you don't pull them I used to oh okay but now, because of the space so they're they're designed for like you were doing this on the stage. It would be on 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 a track, let's say, on a track that you pull in and out with them. Yeah. Is that how you do it? Okay. I want to do it with kind of glued in. Yeah, no, no, no worries, no worries, no worries. So th that that's what you pictured for be able to pull that off and for them to disappear into the like off stage, backstage. Cool, because then because then you would clear your area for more acting and stuff like that happening. Um, I think it's a great start. You could. You go even further on adding what else could be in this scene. What 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 scene again? Is this again? I'm sorry. This is um the scene from Aladdin when they fly through the castle singing a whole new world. Oh right 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 okay okay. So after this after this is disappeared then it would go back to your backdrop with with the the kingdom or would that be pulled out as well? Would that palace go away? After the scene, I think yeah, because I think the scene after that would be like inside the castle. Right. So then, so when that's pulled, the only thing that I would tell you is that when if that's from after the scene, if you're picturing, okay, that's just for the scene. That I want to give them the illusion that they're flying. I think that's a, I think that's a cool concept. For for you as a designer, um, you I would recommend you not necessarily grab the exact way that they looked in the movie. I would maybe create like a little figurine to show us. The scale of your set design, so it would be like a little Aladdin of your own, you know what I mean? And then you could put it on an actual, like create like a, from the cardboard that you have, you can create like a little carpet of your own, kind of design it to make it look like a carpet, color it in, and then have Aladdin and Jasmine on there. Um, would be your interpretation of what, you know, what it would look like as an actual platform that kind of goes across the stage. But if you are doing that, then the shadows that you put on the backdrop, those shadows of, of the palace, then that maybe has to be done in a different way where it's not permanently there, but then you're going to see it for the rest of the show, painted these shadows. Or maybe that's an effect too. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, what's gonna, what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. In sixth grade, and this is your first time doing this? Yeah. This is a wonderful beginning from you, and hopefully we'll see more of this. Um, I think that you, you, you did some elements. I, I will tell you this, and, and I'm going to tell you now, so that you have the next couple of years to think about this. What we want to see is your vision of what these scenes could be. You could have inspirations from the film or if you saw it on stage, but we want to see what you do with it, which may be different. And that's where we were coming from where he said you don't want to have the Jasmine and the Aladdin from the Disney. That's really what it looked like that you have there. You want to have your own vision of what a land and jazz would look like. That's not something somebody else put together. 
So the same goes with what you have here. I like that you're, instead of being something that you have flying in or on a track from the top, you're doing it from the bottom. But it does create a little bit of an issue for this flying scene is perfect. But where you have the castle right now, if, if you have people on the ground walking, these panels kind of get in their way. You understand what we're talking about? Those tracks that we talked about kind of get in their way. Um, and maybe in this scene, it doesn't matter where the carpet is, but definitely the one for the kingdom back there for the castle, there's no way of moving around it. Like if you had actors walking around it, you know, making crowd scenes or whatever, you would have a little bit of an obstacle. So you gotta make sure you consider that um, if this is part of your design choice. These papers that you have here, can we see those? Yes. One is your bibliography, is the other one your ground plan? Yes. 